day everybody. Well, for today's uh, compressor autopsy, we've got this Copeland CR28K6-PFZ-593 uh, single phase 220-240 volt air conditioning compressor. Uh, I wasn't actually on the job that uh, we removed this one, but it came out of a temper zone air conditioner uh, for a hotel room. That's all I can really say about it. Um, not 100% sure on why it failed, although it was reading, um, readings were quiet out when I, uh, tested it. Um, but anyway, we're going to pull it to bits and, uh, find out why it failed, pretty much. I've already, uh, cut around the seam with an angle grinder. Haven't cut all the way through, just to the first thickness, so we can take the top off. Also loosened a few things up, disconnected the power inside because I've had the top off this, did it a couple of days ago, and also cut the discharge line. So we'll lift the top cover off, which is fairly thick steel, it's quite heavy. And we'll put that aside, and uh, here's the pump assembly and the motor. That's your suction input here, comes from the evaporator coil, or the accumulator, not sure whether that system had an accumulator or not that comes in through there. Pulls the, uh, the motor, which is under this cover here, which we can take off through this plastic muffler, and then into the cylinder head, which you can see down there. And all it does is sit on two springs, and then there's one up inside the uh, top of the casing here. And that just fits in the top there, holds it upright. Like I said, I've cut the discharge line, so we're pretty much ready to uh, lift this thing out of the casing and uh, pull it to bits. So let's get in. Alrighty, this is the pump assembly and the motor right here. Taking the uh, cover off and also the suction silencer and intake tube. See those two little cutouts down the bottom here? They're designed to uh, trap some of the noise, make the compressor run a bit quieter. It's very stiff. It's a two-cylinder, as you can see. You've got two uh, pistons. They look about one and a half inches in diameter, although they're very, very stiff. It's quite hard to turn this over. There's the motor stator, stator windings, and the rotor up in there. Take the stator off next, and we'll uh, see if we can turn it over a bit freer. And then there's your head, the other side here. Excuse my dodgy camera work. Neither of these springs are broke, the suspension springs, which is, a, uh, I suppose, a good sign because it means it's not uh, loud noise is why they condemned it. I'm guessing it's uh, probably motor issues. Stator might have minute short in it somewhere. I'll take the other side off and find out. Okay, well, I got a little bit carried away with the uh, disassembly, but I think I've found what killed this one. These cylinders are both uh, got oil in them. That was exactly like it when I uh, took the head off. So, uh, sort of lucky it didn't actually try and break something. Because that would have uh, probably caused hydrostatic or hydraulic lock, as it's known as, which definitely would have snapped the rods. So I have a feeling that probably would have actually seized it up and uh, just put a dead short in this uh, stator core. I mean, the other side looks all right. Down there, it's uh, probably got a bad spot in it. But these are these are pistons. They're about the same size as the ones in that Bitsa that I pulled apart ages ago. That little two-cylinder one. And talking off, I did manage to score the bits for a uh, four-cylinder right there, which we will uh, have a go at putting back together sometime and running. That one uh, died because of bearing failure, but it's all still good. But that's for another video. Here's the valve plate. Here's your suction valves. Now on the other side, we've got our discharge valves here. High pressure out. And there's your suction uh, gallery going down this side, and then your discharge. It's all cast iron too, by the way. It's fairly heavy stuff. Uh, might have a go at seeing if I can get this rotor off, but I doubt it though. Would be nice to uh, souvenir these pistons. Mind you, I've got uh, plenty of them hanging up there, so 
I don't really know why I'd need any more, but be nice to have them. So yeah, I suppose that uh, probably concludes this autopsy. That's a uh, Copeland two-cylinder hermetic reciprocating compressor. Hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.